understand. Yeah, there's so many things you want to do and so many things that you're told that you can't do. So you start to dream, you start to fantasize, you start to go on adventures in your mind, whether we're comic books or uh, one of them to start to explore possibly other Is up north here. Okay. Here we just have uh, shipping Bradshaw Throckmorton. Okay. Let's say we want to split that right there. I've got it close to set. Hi hey guys, uh, here's what I got, Japanese style marking gauge, uh, I'll take it apart and go over it a little bit, I shot for one handed use, just put finish on it so it's probably a bit sticky, but you should be able to set it wherever you want, put it there, use your bench edge, Tighten it up, loosen it, same way, push the key back, move it where you want. A couple things, this edge is rounded, so as the key is wedged in, it pushes it and it forces it to stay as stable as I can make it. Um, let's take it apart. Remove that, the key comes out. This is at an angle down, the same angle as the key. So as you apply, hopefully it applies pressure to both sides and it gives you more purchase for the lock, keep it more stable. Um, it is keyed so that the square end of the rail has a shoulder to sit on. The iron is flat on one side and it's solid and steel. This is a piece of file steel. 
spring steel and an old old chisel I had laying around so it's some tool steel it's three pieces of steel welded together and I folded it three times so three times three is nine you can add that's however many layers I can't keep up with it once you fold it then you double it again you fold it after the third fold pretty good bit of layers in there but it's Damascus if I said solid I'm sorry it's Damascus you will see inclusions in the steel it's got little divots where it didn't weld all the way but um, I chose a fingernail style edge so no matter which way you have it tilted it will bite a little bit you put it with a bevel inside so as it's pulling down the board it pushes the fence up against the work body is tiger maple stem or the beam is zebra wood and the wedges are cherry so kind of in Japanese theme what I'm gonna say is the tiger and the zebra are fighting over a cherry <laughs> corny oh well putting it together I put a dot on the beam put your blade in that side stick it in apply the wedge feels good key in first apply the beam set your distance pull it that's it the finished used is equal parts and thirds mineral spirits polyurethane and BLO I like it because you don't get truly get a film finish but you get some protection on it I'll probably coat it lightly with a little bit of wax really good and then send it on thanks gentlemen for letting me participate in your event and uh, this was a blast touch this too y'all know me it's all handmade it's all handmade by me I forged the iron I milled the wood by hand plane I sawed it with Japanese saws um, the curves were rasped so it's all done by hand very few electrons were killed in the production of this tool enjoy